All right, what's up, Dragon Brood? I know some of y'all are getting tired of these control decks, these mid range things, so we're gonna take it all the way back to doing some aggro stuff with some small creatures, but they're gonna be humans this time, and we're gonna go three colors, and I think some of these underplayed cards are gonna take us across the finish line. As a reminder, don't forget at the end of October, we will have a Command Fest coming up in Orlando. You should check that out. It's gonna be run by our friends over at Cool Stuff Inc., and you can get all the details at commandfestorlando.com. All right, so let's hop into this. There's gonna be a lot of humans. Most of these you know, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on them. I'm just going to race through them. So let's get to it. We've got Recruitment Officer, because it's an easy two one and helps us find more creatures. Obviously, we're gonna be playing Copper Coat Vanguard because it protects all of our humans with Ward 1, which is great. Intrepid Adversary, just a fun way to pump our humans and gets us a little bit of life gain. We're gonna be playing a full set of Thalias because well, Thalia just really is a problem for a lot of decks. One of the reasons we're gonna be playing some Black Man is for Tenacious Underdog, but not just because it's a three power attacker, it actually gives us a way to draw cards later in the game if we really get caught in a bad situation and need it. Another reason we're playing Black though is Jirina Dauntless General. This is good for removing your opponent's graveyard, so no attracts or reanimator shenanigans, but also could protect your creatures with both indestructible and hexproof. So this card, really underrated and probably should be played more often in these lists. We're gonna be rocking a couple of Catilda because why not? And we're gonna be playing Malira. We all know that this is good 3-3, three, three, save another creature. Adeline, because we like the tokens and a big body. One of the other key pieces of this deck though is Anointed Peacekeeper to be able to slow down your opponent from those sweepers. So we like this. Or Brutal Cathar because we need some extra removal in here somewhere. And we are getting outside of the window of humans for just a little bit and we're gonna be playing a couple of Wandering Emperor. And yes, I know with Thalia it makes this cost five, but here's the deal, if Thalia is surviving, we probably don't care that we didn't get to cast our Wandering Emperor, you know what I mean? Then we're gonna play some Sigarda Champion of Light to pump our team and help us find more cards. And we're gonna be playing a Thalia and the Get Rog Monster because we're playing all the right colors and it's a damn good card. But those are all the things we're gonna be playing today. If you wanna see the final list, check out the end of the video like always. And if you want to download it, just look for the arrows down in the description. It'll take you to our Moxfield link. And then you can see today's deck list and over a hundred other lists we have up right now. Y'all go enjoy these games and let's see how many of these metagame decks we can beat with a pile of humans. All right, let's go for it. I think this is fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We don't have to take any damage here early. Love to see that. Got Thalia followed by Peacekeeper, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack. Roll a Thalia out there. Okay. Go ahead and go with this guy. There's a Gwina, a Multiverse, an Archfiend, a Flesh Gorger. Don't love any of those. Um, guess we get rid of the Flesh Gorger here, though. I mean, not the Flesh Gorger, the Archfiend. All right. I mean, they could just as well just Gwina next turn and then try to set up a big uh, Flesh Gorger, which is fine. All right. Yep. We knew that was coming. Maybe at two, three, four, five. So they won't have enough to do that just yet. So, kind of looking at their hand, I think we just go with this. And just maximize our damages. Give them no good block here. My right, opponent's at six. What are they gonna do? I mean, I guess they could spend the mana to play the Archfiend and then untap that. Or untap Gwena and then still do something. So that'd be pretty good for them, actually. Oh. They're just gonna do that? I mean, I guess that's fair. You get to gain life off the Flesh Gorger. I guess technically you don't, because we have a Wandering Emperor. They don't know that. Uh, but yeah, everything's going to block otherwise. Well, let's go. We obviously have to block across the board here. Uh, 
All right. We're going to go ahead and plus up that uh, intrepid adversary. Run away. You'll be safer. So no life gain for the opponent. And then the rest hit, and that'll do it. I guess technically, I could have also just given a plus one to... No, 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 because this got blocked. I was just thinking if I had two things got through with first strike, but I only had one. So, yeah, it didn't really matter there. Okay. Yeah, sure. This seems as good. Oh, no! I played the wrong... I thought this was the other one that comes into play untapped. Son of a gun. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. I should have already had this down. I could have played... Oh, goodness. That simple mistake might be the, the difference in everything here. That is rough. Alright, we'll pay to keep it. Alright, we will play this and call Human. Oh, they actually had to dissipate. That's harsh. Uh, do I play? I guess I play one of these. If they sweep the board, we lose it. Then we just play this and search next turn. And we'll get a card if they had to depopulate there. They didn't, though. All right, seems fine. We'll get our attacks on. All right, opponent's at nine. Now, I could effectively have played this and tried to attack for 9 next turn, but that felt like a bit of a gamble. Um, we attack, we put counters on stuff. Actually, we're just going to attack. In the turn. So if it's depopulate, we just protect Katilda. Uh, is it a Wandering Emperor here? Because if so... We could still protect something with Plaza of Heroes. Yeah, we can still do this also. Uh, yeah. You got it. Then, guide it like water. then yeah, it just doesn't matter here, right? They go to four and take... Oh no, because they get rid of the Copper Coat Vanguard. Then actually our play is just, hmm, hmm, do I have a good out here? Because <laughs> if I attack with everything, they get rid of the Copper Coat Vanguard, they go to four and they take three, right? If we attack with just these two, they get rid of this, they go to four, take two. That doesn't really solve our problem either. But, I guess the difference is now we could attack into the one... Oh. Okay, sorry y'all, I'm trying to figure out, should I just send any of these into the Wandering Emperor? Alright. I think this is how we want to do it. Yeah. I am almost sad to see you go. I guess. That was kind of ugly, but, I mean, they get a land, they sunfall here. Well, they can't sunfall because we have Thalia. So yeah, we're good. Uh, make it where it can't be targeted. Yep, that'd be it. All right, let's keep it. Well, they're gonna be playing a different version of humans and they got a one drop and we didn't. So this is gonna hurt quite a bit. All right, I mean, I guess we got double Cathar. So there's that. They could let us get it, then Cathar a thing, then we Cathar a Cathar, and we play those silly games. But, you know. If we do, we do. Oh, were they going to get Adeline first? They did not. Okay. Well, I don't know if I want to play an Adeline here. Knowing that they likely just have counters since they're not playing creatures. 
Um. All right. I'm your Huckleberry. We drew a lot of mana. Unfortunately. I'm just gonna return it. Sure, I'm down. Works for me. Uh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, put that on humans. We're gonna keep moving forward here. And do what we can to force the issue. Well, we knew they had that. It's, what else do you have? Skrelf could be a problem in a couple of turns if things don't go our way. Knight Errant. All right. That's good stuff. Mmm. That's tough. Five or more soldiers they attack with. Well, they don't have enough soldiers out right now, so that's good news. Go ahead and play this. Get rid of that. And say, let's do it. Alright. I mean, we do have access to an Iganjo here. Assuming they don't get rid of our Adeline. They're also at 8, but they're about to have a lot of 2-2s. Two That's something else to consider. Yep. That is not the most pleasant situation. Try to off that. All right, a bunch of two twos you doth have. All right, if we don't play anything here, we get to flip some brutal Cathars and could set up something for next turn, which could be pretty sweet. Just wondering, do we just add a line here? All right, we add a line. We can still protect it if we really want to. So that's a thing. Not exciting, but it's a thing nonetheless. I mean, they might want to tr trade me straight up for a recruitment officer. I don't know. Oh, they're just going to take the eight. They can... S Wait. Oh, it's seven. Yeah. Uh, In the turn? All right. Well, now they'll have enough. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, they only have four soldiers. Okay, so they don't kill us yet. We do get some first strikers here. We have some one ones to block with. All right, I see four soldiers I can attack right now. Oh, I don't think the opponent realized it. I mean, we're at 10. We can take two, four, six, nine. I mean, we have blockers. Yeah, I was going to say, we're good. Yeah, all I was worried about is, like, could we survive that turn if they didn't have it? Now, if they'd had two of the reinforcements, we would have lost. Because they'd have been able to just attack with a bunch of flyers with Hartman. But here, we hit him with a bunch of first strikers. Next turn, we could play both of these, which would have got rid of whatever was left blocking. What easily would have got through. So, that was pretty good. We are no doubt keeping this one. Ooh, here come the red cards. This is a case where Anointed Peacekeeper is probably going to be all right. Sagarda is pretty good in this fight if we can get to Sagarda. That's sometimes easier said than done. All right, you got a Phoenix chick. We're going to kill our recruitment officer? No, they're just attacking us. Uh, you know, I'm willing to block here. Actually, no. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to take that. Like, put the onus on the opponent to do something next turn. No attacks. 
I mean, they could just well play like Mechanized Warfare or something here. That's always annoying. Eh, that hurts, but we'll live. They're not doing anything else for the turn, so if we're only taking two, sure. So yeah, while wow, that was annoying, not the end of the world. Probably just going to end up having to call Lightning Strike. Oh, nope. Looks like we're going to call Mechanized Warfare. They didn't have any other burn in hand. Well, that's pretty good, considering we've got a Sigarda, which could pump this, and then we've got a Wandering Emperor. So maybe we get as low as, like, 8 before we start uh, stabilizing a little bit, assuming they don't draw burn spells here. This is not too bad. We lost two quality creatures early and still might be okay with this, as it turns out. Uh, I'm just going to take three. Block this guy. I think I'm going to sit back on the Wandering Emperor here and just pass. Oh, I should have attacked for three there, though. They were tapped out. I think I was trying to pass quick enough so I didn't look like I have a Wandering Emperor. I goofed up not attacking for three there, though. That's pretty critical. Opponent says they're going to come get in with everything. Love to see it. Oh, crap. I did that wrong. Because now they're going to get to kill our Wandering Emperor. Gosh dang it. I was too quick on the trigger. Because now they get to point where the creature goes. I guess we could still protect it if we really wanted to. And then just take out Squee next turn. But I would have rather taken the one and not have to worry about it here. So that's totally my mistake. I should have let him get the token first. I mean, us going to 8 when we know one of the cards is Mechanized Warfare, though, is not the biggest deal. But still, enough of a mistake that I have to acknowledge it, you know? Well, they decided to come after us anyway, so now I don't even have to worry about it. I take one point less and still get to keep the Wandering Emperor. Love to see it. That is flippin' fantastic. Put that on human. We're going to go ahead and plus one this. We're going to play this. Alright. I mean, once we get Thali and this down, like it's probably going to be a lock. Because now they're going to have to get rid of the Wandering Emperor, so we're not getting two more life somewhere down the road. They've got to deal with a lot more damage. I mean, this is the plan, right? Just draw burn spells against us, which is why Thali is going to be pretty key here. Uh, yeah, that's tough for the opponent because they can't block either. <laughs> I mean, I guess they technically have a 1-1 one -one they can block with, so that's something. Uh, go ahead and play this guy. And because... Let's go ahead and plus on uh, Sagarda. And then we'll get to scry some cards because we do have three different powers here. Ooh, all of these are great. Uh, I guess we just take a Brutal Cathar and just try to end things next turn. I mean, being on seven and knowing what the opponent's cards are here, I realistically don't think they have any outs. Because even if they get rid of Thal Sigarda, like, they can't do anything else with the Phoenix Chicks. Yeah, that's ball game. Sure. I guess you get a squee for sport. I don't know. We're just going to double block. We're going to just insult to injury. There you go. Yeah, this one wasn't even close. Alright. Yeah, let's keep it. I'm just going to do what we can do. Nope, I have only creatures in hand, opponent. Oh, I did it again. 
I've done that so many times in the last few days. Of just putting the wrong card out there. Ugh. Well, we know they have play with fires, so that's a thing. Uh, yeah, let's go with this then. I've just misidentified the lands, thinking they're the fast lands and it's the check lands. And it's just, blah. Yep, you gotta go for the throat. I was gonna say, and you gotta use the play with fire now. Ooh, you are not bad, though. You are not bad. Let's go with this. Let's burn down the house. Ugh. Alright, well, we don't like that. Though that other selection of burn stuff does not make us happy either. All right. Well, I guess we're going to do that. Let's just play this tap and just go Sigarda. I mean, Thalia and this. We'll play Sigarda next turn, possibly. If they play like Shieldred or something, we'll Brutal Cathar, obviously, but. All right, you have an underdog. What else you got for us? Nothing else for us, it seems. Hmm. I was just thinking, we know they have another play with fire. So we do have to be cognizant of that. But... I'm willing to just attack with this. And just say, sure, if you got something, you got something. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Sure. I can force a little bit of an issue. Now Thalia dies, right? Okay. So we've limited the cards in their hand pretty well here so far. Yep, you got it. And we know they still have a burn down the house. So that's a real thing. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and play this. Because it may be important to doing some combination of those. So, sure. No need to play the adversary here. Because, again, they just burned down the house here. We don't get anything for it. The rest? Nope. I got nothing. Just more duders, opponent. Lots and lots of duders. Alright. Question is, do they have something like... Chandra, because that would be tough. Alright. Oh, Atali is what they had. That's no good. Alright, that's probably a GG's. I also didn't play that well in general, because back when I played the Peacekeeper, I could have just called uh, this thing. And kept it off my butt for a couple turns. And got more damage in. But it didn't really matter. They had all the removal and we had a pretty slow hand. All things considered. Yeah, alright. They got this one. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, we obviously want a third land. But this is okay to start with. Would have been better if we'd had that turn one. All right. Usually a mana creature this turn. Oh, no, it's that guy. All right. Well. Hmm, this is a little tough because if we put it on human, we may not be able to cast a Garda. Uh, okay. I mean, pretty much... Well, if we get another secluded courtyard, we just put that... Yeah... 
Green, red, nah, we still are going to need this to, ah, that sucks. I think we have to put this on Angel. Or we just put ourselves in an ugly spot. Let's attack first. Let's see what they think about that. Alright, let's run this out. Oh, no white mana. That's interesting. So, do we just call, like, wedding announcements? Ossification is probably the most annoying. Alright, let's go ossification then, I guess. I went with that, because even if they get Wedding Announcement for a turn, I mean, if we get a land, untap land. Oh. Okay. Uh, get a Plains, I guess? Guess it didn't matter what we chose a second ago, huh? Alright, well, we're in. I mean, now we're just going to try to go wide. Like, we either get a land and we play Sigarda, or we're playing the Intrepid Adversaries. Either way, it's a lot of damage incoming. Yep, Audacity, you doth have, opponent. Yep. Yeah, the tough part there for the opponent is they were going to end up taking at least 7. Possibly as much as 10 if we get a land for either of these. They would end up with cards, but at that point, they're just too far behind with the type of deck they're playing. Ooh, we get to go first, huh? Wow. All right. This is... Ooh, this is tough. All right, we're going to go human. I mean, it's hand we're keeping because we have a lot of twos. But it's just like, you kind of want to play Thalia first. You kind of want to play Katilda first. Like, Here's a question, though. If we play Copper Coat Vanguard, then we play Katilda next turn. We get Katilda into Thalia. That's something. All right. Still don't know totally how I feel about that, but let's try it. Because they have removal, they kind of have to get rid of the Copper Coat Vanguard now, or that plus Thalia makes it where they're having a hard time removing things. All right, cool. We'll take three. I'm, I'm good with that. That could have been all kinds of worse. Let's go ahead. This was part of our plan. All right. We knew this is ultimately what we wanted. Yeah, we just stonewall Samet here. I mean, we trade, but that's okay. I'm good with that. Especially knowing the opponent can't block here or anything, so seems solid. And then we're just gonna go here. Uh yeah, remove your graveyard. And if we attack, they block. Anything good come out of that? Probably not. Alright, no attacks. Yep, you gotta kill that Copper Coat Vanguard first. It's super annoying. Yep. Alright, come on. Just any of our things that pump our creatures. This makes this turn so good. Come on. I guess I could have sacked Jarena to save the other thing, but nah. Oh, well that's cute. Wasn't expecting that. I mean, just leave you with no blockers? Alright, opponent's at 8. We can protect our team. We've got an Igonjo we could fire off. This is looking good. Uh, yeah, no bueno. I do not agree with that. And this is definitely more than lethal now. Though they could kill something on our turn. So that's real. No opponent's just saying GG. Alright, cool. 
Yeah, I think my play there anyway was going to be just attack with Adeline and Brutal Cathar in case they had just like play with fire. Because then we could just put counters on everything by tapping the extra token, all the lands, and Katilda. Still would have been attacking with plenty because we'd have made another creature. So that's four, five, six, seven, and then it would have been eight, nine, ten. So yeah, good stuff. Plus, we still had a Ganjo if we wanted to go that way. Didn't need it though because Felden can't even block. Okay, this is a keeper for sure. Let's put this on humans and get this down. Bring on them cut downs. Oh, they didn't have it. Okay. We are not susceptible to the cut downs. I mean, we are. They just didn't have it. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, lead with this. Put that also on human. And we'll... Yeah, might as well try. I mean, it's probably getting countered, but... What else are you going to do? I mean, if you got a removal... Oh, just a Fading Hope, actually. That's actually the best case scenario. Cool. wonder if they did that because they were trying to find more land or something. That's usually what those plays feel like, where they have a chance to do something, but they're trying to get the Scry in to help out their draws. Okay. We are going to try again with the Copper Coat Vanguard. And we'll attack. Vanguard's got to die here, right? Nope, it's not dead yet. Okay. <laughs> We'll just try to keep it pushing, I guess. This could also be a Shieldred turn, which would be kind of tough. Shieldred into Gix's command here could also be really bad for us. Jace. Jace? Okay. I'm going to give one of these a Negator. Yep. All right. So that being what it is, then I think we need to do this. Though, I will admit, I kind of like the idea of playing these two together. Which might have been the correct play. Because like I said, Gix's command is still tough here. Though... I guess Gixx's man doesn't really get rid of much here. That's kind of good since we played the adversary. Alright, opponent. What you got? Ooh, can we find a brutal Cathar? Because that feels like it's going to be very, very necessary. Okay, that's that's a thing. I ain't mad at that. Okay, so let's send this here, these two here. See what the opponent's up to. We might still get hit Exugud for a billion. Alright, how bad is it? Nope, just to go for the throat. Well, that's unfortunate. That could have definitely been a lot worse. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this, but I'm going to put it on Angel just in case I draw a Sigarda. Another Hidexugu. Alright, sure. You got it. Oh, that's cute. We can play this. Play this. Go ahead and put this. Uh, yeah, because we can. Janara or Jarena. Move their graveyard. 
we can plus one of these and just attack with that with first strike. All right, are we dead? All right, there's a breach. Fortunately, we don't have anything great for them to breach. I don't know what they got. They have a, another Hidexugu, I guess. Or a Jace. I mean, we're trying to withstand a lot of stuff here. Oh, they did get our Thalia. That sucks. All right. Well, it looks like our only outs here are going to be Brutal Cathars. And even then, they probably just have a removal card in hand. So we're probably done. But, we'll see. Look at with... Destroy all creatures. Just... Really? I don't know if the opponent knows what our cards do. But, okay. I mean, whatever's on top, I guess, gets to hit us again. Could be another... Nope, it's just an island. Okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, Jarena just won that game. Like, I don't know, maybe the opponent just didn't have much else. To be honest, they may not have had other removal or anything. But our board was getting kind of tougher than to remove stuff anyway with the Vanguard, Malera, and Jarena. So, I don't know, maybe they'd have been on blocking duty. Who the heck knows? That's a, it's a crazy situation, but I'll take it. Wasn't expecting that at all. This is a nice hand. I would have liked it more if we were on the play. <laughs> but, you know, we'll make the most out of it that we can. That that at least makes me feel a little bit better. A little, just a tiny bit. Alright, you got it. Let's drop in. Uh, do I want to go Malira here? I think I do. I'm just kind of say, like, you have to have a lightning strike here to get rid of this. Which they very well might. Make a nice warfare, huh? Sure. I think I'm still okay with that. Let's block here. They get to see three cards, but fair enough. I mean, we're kind of mostly looking for a land ourselves. Ooh, there's a Chandra, though. That's going to suck for us. The only benefit now, though, is we can put this down and force them to have to have another land for Chandra, which they might, but otherwise they got to get rid of Thalia first. Oh, the thing is, though, if they don't, then they just lose. Okay, they found the land. I would say if they didn't, they would have just lost Chandra here, which would have been more than fine for us. All right, we go to 12, then we go to 10. Aww, you're looking a little... All right, found a land. That's that's good. We can put this on Angel. And just try to put some pressure here. You're just never gonna learn, are you? I mean, Burn Spell's about to start taking out her stuff, because even a Lightning Strike can just take out a Sigarda here. And they do have extra mana available. All right, down to eight. I mean, do we just get burned out? Watch me heat up the dance floor. What's funny is you sort of know they're going to try to target Thalia to kill it, which then unlocks our Wandering Emperor, which is super nice. Okay. Not how I wanted that to go down, but, uh, you know, we'll take what we can get. Yeah, we kind of sadly have to do this. And then they just attack with anything and we die, pretty much. Because, I mean, Chandra puts us to four. Yeah. We're pretty much dead. I'm going to assume the opponent just kills us. We're just going to move on. <laughs> like, I don't know what they're doing over there. All right. 
Let's do it. Sure. We'll see how this game goes. Alright. Looks like they're just leaving mana up for removal, which makes a lot of sense. I do like when they're using go for the throats and not cut downs, though. That means other stuff has a better chance of living. Um, what do we do here, actually? I think we just play this straight up. If they didn't have cut down, this at least gives us a quality blocker. Yep, you got your shielded. Uh, yeah, I'll take that trade. It's definitely much better for us than for them. Hopefully they don't have two shieldreds. Because that's going to be the concern here. I've learned you. Make a sacrifice a wandering emperor. Nope, just a hero's downfall. Usually it's a uh, shieldreds edict there. Okay, things being what they are, I think we just go... I'm tempted to go with Recruiter and then try to draw, but I think we're just going to do this and play play the Recruiter and Officer really right with it. Uh, Play a land? Let's see what happens. Alright, I guess that's all we needed. That was a nice situation, too, because we drew so many lands, we are going to have a lot to get rid of here with Thalia and the Gitrog monster. And once we played this, we kind of got everything on lockdown, so not too bad, not too bad. So yeah, overall, the deck actually did what we wanted it to do. So yeah, I don't think there's much I would change about this. Maybe swap out stuff if you want to have more ways to pump your team. Uh, Malira is a little weak when we already have Janara or Jarena in here, but I don't hate the one copy but if you wanted to play king darian extra large the eighth i would totally understand if you wanted to to have that in here too to have another way to just pump your team but overall this was actually kind of nice so we went with four recruitment officer four copper coat vanguard three intrepid adversary four thalia two tenacious underdog two jarena two katilda one malera two adeline four anointed peacekeeper four brutal cathar two wandering emperor Two Sigarda Champion of Light, one Thalia and the Gitrog Monster, one Igonjo, four planes, a Takanuma Beseju, four Caves of Kolos, two Shattered Sanctum, an Overgrown Farmland, four Rays of Verge Thicket, two Plaids of Heroes, and four Secluded Courtyards. So yeah, I think this will have some of the same problems you expect like creature decks to have, but that being said, we are pretty resilient considering we're playing Thalia, we're playing the Peacekeeper, you've got the uh, Coppercoat Vanguards, you know, you have Sigarda to pump your team. So it's like, there's a lot going on to make your creatures more resilient. Oh, and Jarena's in this list too. And that helps a lot. I think the trick though is understanding what type of removal you think your opponent has and then trying to play the appropriate cards around that, right? I think that's the real trick there. But if you do sequence your cards the right way, you do have a pretty solid chance, especially because Jarena can give yourself Hexproof in addition to Indestructible. And now for today's card spotlight, we're gonna talk about Druid of Purification. This is a card I don't think a lot of people know about, but pretty much every time I've seen it hit the board, it's been great. It's a 4 mana 2-3, so not great, but a 2-3 body's not the smallest thing. But basically, you get to destroy, well, we vote to destroy things, and it's kinda nice. Actually, you get to just kill stuff, but it's none of your stuff. So starting with you, you pick and all the other players pick, and you kill 3 or 4 things basically that are artifacts or enchantments that aren't yours. It's kind of hard to be mad at this card, and it goes for $5 plus, and I expect this card's going to keep a slow climb probably over the next year or two until it shows up in another commander deck. And if you enjoyed the way this deck played and maybe the black cards aren't really your jam, we have a Naya Humans list that's worth checking out too, and that one's also pretty excellent. But that's all I have you for now. We'll see you next time.